In the world of technology, there are stories of great success, and then there are stories that reshape history. Huawei's journey is one of those rare cases where adversity didn't break a company. It transformed it. Once dismissed as a brand that simply made affordable smartphones, Huawei today stands as a symbol of resilience and innovation. Faced with sanctions, global restrictions, and a geopolitical storm that would have crippled almost any other company, Huawei didn't just survive, it rose from the ashes to lead one of the boldest technological revolutions of our time. And this isn't just about gadgets or fancy smartphones, it's about a company that challenged the very order of global technology, creating alternatives where none existed and setting new benchmarks that others are now scrambling to catch up with. From redefining how we communicate to building a parallel tech ecosystem, Huawei's story carries lessons not only for the tech world, but for anyone who's ever faced obstacles that seemed impossible to overcome. Before we dive deeper, if you find this story as fascinating as I do, I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video and share it with others who'd enjoy exploring how global technology is being reshaped before our eyes. It helps the channel grow and brings more of these stories to people around the world. Now, let's take a closer look at how Huawei rewrote the rules. Huawei's recent innovations have stunned the global tech community. Take the Mate 70, released in late 2024. Unlike anything we'd seen before, this wasn't just another high-end smartphone. It was the first phone in the world capable of connecting directly to satellites without special equipment. Think about that for a moment. No bulky antennas, no external gear. Just you, your phone, and the ability to send a message from anywhere on Earth, even in the remotest mountains or deep within disaster zones. This leap was made possible through a revolutionary chip design capable of amplifying signals powerful enough to reach satellites orbiting hundreds of kilometers above Earth. That means communication networks that are not only more reliable but also more accessible to people in regions where building cell towers is expensive, or in some cases, nearly impossible. For rural Africa, parts of Alaska, or mountainous regions in Asia, this is more than a cool feature, it's life-changing technology. We saw the impact firsthand during the 2025 floods in Southeast Asia. With towers underwater and traditional lines cut off, Huawei's phones became lifelines. Relief teams coordinated rescue missions, tracked supplies, and even helped families reconnect when all other means had failed. Technology in that moment was not just about convenience, it was about survival. What makes this even more disruptive is the economics. While Western carriers have spent billions deploying 5G towers, Huawei's satellite system was built for a fraction of the cost, covering entire nations at once. For countries like Nigeria or Kenya, this opens a door to leapfrog outdated infrastructure and go straight into the future. This ability to think differently to create solutions under pressure has been the cornerstone of Huawei's rise. And it doesn't stop at satellites. Huawei also sparked frenzy with its Pura 80 Ultra smartphone in 2025. Crowds camped outside stores overnight and units sold out within hours. This wasn't simply hype, it was recognition that Huawei had delivered something groundbreaking. The star of the show? Its camera system. Imagine carrying a pocket device that competes with professional cameras worth thousands of dollars. Dual telephoto lenses, a huge one-inch sensor, and software that uses AI to process photos with breathtaking quality. For many, it's no longer about owning a phone. It's about carrying a creative studio in your pocket. Professional photographers now use it in the field, and for the first time ever, National Geographic China featured wildlife photos shot entirely on a Huawei smartphone. That's how far the bar has been raised. Underneath the Pura 80 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on Huawei's homegrown Kirin 920 chip, powered by cutting-edge design and backed by enormous R&D. The device combines speed, efficiency, and battery life that stretches up to three days on moderate use. Features many users in middle and older age groups particularly value. After all, what's the use of a high-tech gadget if it dies halfway through the day? But perhaps the most fascinating part of Huawei's journey is not the hardware, but the ecosystem it built when it was cut off from Google. Back in 2019, many analysts predicted Huawei would collapse after the US blacklisted it, cutting ties to essential software and hardware suppliers. 
But instead of folding, Huawei created Harmony OS, a new digital operating system. And today, Harmony OS powers nearly a billion devices worldwide. Phones, tablets, laptops, cars, TVs, you name it, all seamlessly connected under one architecture. For millions across Asia, Africa, and beyond, Google and Apple aren't even part of daily life anymore. Instead, they've embraced Huawei's universe, one that offers convenience, integration, and something increasingly important, independence. In many regions, it's not just about technology, it's about sovereignty. This is a key reason why Huawei's solutions are finding traction with governments, hospitals, banks, and universities. The question is no longer, can Huawei survive without the West? The reality is, millions are already living in a Huawei-driven ecosystem. And here's a quick pause. What do you think about this? Do you see Huawei's rise as a triumph of innovation or as a concerning shift in global tech power? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your perspective and start a conversation. Now, stepping into the broader picture, Huawei is also pushing into cars, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence. Their Harmony-powered vehicles like the ITO M9 are already outpacing traditional luxury brands in sales. These cars aren't just smart, they're autonomous at levels that Western automakers are still testing in labs. In a live demo, one Huawei-powered car drove itself for nearly an hour through Shenzhen's chaotic rush hour traffic, safely and legally. That's a future knocking at the door. And let's not forget cloud and AI. Huawei's Pangu models are driving industrial AI in Asia, helping companies, hospitals, and logistics firms make better decisions while keeping sensitive data secure within national borders. For many nations, this assurance that their data isn't leaving the country is priceless. What we're seeing here is bigger than just one company's story. Huawei represents a shift in the global technology order. Where once innovation was synonymous with Silicon Valley, today it's just as likely to come from Shenzhen. Huawei now invests over $27 billion annually in research and development, outspending even some governments. Its workforce of over 110,000 researchers across continents is building not just products, but a parallel technological universe. One where China, not the West, sets the pace. And the ripple effects are immense. Telecom firms fear their investments may soon be obsolete. Semiconductor companies in China are seeing record growth. Meanwhile, developing nations are discovering that they can connect millions of people affordably and rapidly without waiting decades to build traditional infrastructure. Huawei's story reminds us of a powerful truth. Adversity can become a catalyst for innovation. When forced into a corner, Huawei responded not with retreat, but with reinvention. It's a story of resilience that resonates far beyond technology. Whether you're a business leader, an innovator, or simply someone curious about how the world is changing. So, as we look at the bigger picture, Huawei isn't just another tech giant anymore. It's rewriting the rules of global innovation, forcing the world to rethink who leads, who follows, and where the future will be shaped. If you've stayed with me this far, thank you. I truly appreciate your time and attention. If you found value in this deep dive into Huawei's revolution, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future content. And most importantly, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.